Um, so Paul is asking if there's any new startup adventures for me. Um, so f a few things. First of all, building a venture fund slash startup studio like FJ Labs actually is a startup. It's a startup in its own right. I didn't join an existing venture firm. I'm building a new one, which has a lot of implications. Like it's actually really harder to attract investors to 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 invest in in, in a new fund. So even though I've had angel investing history, they don't actually give you credit for it. Even though I'm an amazing, I think. Uh, uh, entrepreneur, they don't think the skills transfer from from being an entrepreneur to an investor. Um, that's one. Second is because I'm not just building a pure venture firm, but I'm actually building a studio. Every year we build one or two new companies de novo, and that allows me to scratch my entrepreneurial itch, come up with the ideas, hire the team. Often I build, I, I play a big role in, in building the product. I could be the cr scrub master, writing the stories. And I do the part that I think is the most fun, which is kind of zero to one. And once the company gets to Series A, I usually drop off. And by then, we've recruited a full team, like a product manager, a CTO, et cetera. It depends. The role I play varies on the needs of the entrepreneur. If they are tech savvy and product savvy, they may not need me to do this. But it still allows me to be an entrepreneur. Now, would I want to be CEO again? I'm totally up for it. The in um, so I, I was CEO of OLX until late 2012. I left in December. I then became CEO again of a company called Wallapop, um, not necessarily well known, from 2014 to 2016 in the U.S. to try to bring them to the U.S. and challenge the incumbent classified players. We ended up merging it in uh, May of 2016 with uh, LetGo, and so I st stepped down as CEO at that point and um, and and resumed, I guess, the the FJ Labs operations. Recently, um, I was involved in trying to buy eBay Classified. So uh, sadly, we lost the, the bid, but I'm sure I would have had a reasonably active role there. I'm not sure what the role would have been, if it would have been a chairman or CEO or something like that. So I'm not at all against the idea. The issue for me is finding a project that's large enough and compelling enough and, and that I, it warrants allocating 100% of my time to. I would love to be an entrepreneur again. If anything, I, I like being an entrepreneur more than I like being an investor. The thing is, most of the things that become really big, you don't know at the beginning that they're going to be very big. So think of like Airbnb in the early days. It was like inflatable mattresses in people's living rooms. That did not sound like a big idea. But turns out you could pivot to a much larger market of uh, renting and, and unlocking uh, unused inventory and unlocking massive amounts of value for, for real estate owners and renters and for creating these bespoke unique travel experiences and that was a ginormous market and now the company that's a multi-hundred billion dollar market the company is probably going to be worth at some point over 100 billion and that's extraordinary or maybe in the early days uber might have seemed like it was only a black car service for the very well off and that's before uber x and before and before um, the ride sharing came, came, came to be, and so Uber Pool. And so the issue is, unless an idea is really large from the get-go, I'm not sure I can get excited, but yet most of the ideas that get really large, you don't know at the beginning if they can be very large. But I'm not against uh, starting something from scratch if I find something that I, is compelling, that I think is value-added for humanity. I mean, OLX really felt to me like the company I was destined to build and to run. It, 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 it spoke to me in every level possible, and... If I could have, I would not have sold it. I would have stayed as CEO forever and ran it forever. Um, sadly, it was not on the cards for a variety of reasons, mostly because we had a publicly traded competitor coming in with hundreds of millions of capital, and I, I needed uh, more money that I could raise at that time in order to fight them off, and that's why I had to sell to, to Nasters, which proved to be an amazing partnership, which allowed us to win, but then I lost control of my baby, Understandably, if someone gives you hundreds of millions of dollars of, of capital, um, they need to have a say in what they're doing. And so OLX for me was obvious. It was going to be ginormous, could be ginormous, and, and I had a mission to build it. If I can get that mission again, I would be more than happy to do it. Um, nothing comes to mind right now, but I'm also happy to join a larger organization uh, that needs someone to scale um, as well. But Again, nothing, no one's approached me with an offer I could not resist and an idea that made so much sense. I was like, okay, let's drop everything and do this. Uh, but it could happen today, it could happen five years, it could happen in 10 years. Uh, it could, may never happen. And the reality is if, even if it doesn't, this life experience I have right now of like meeting all these extraordinary entrepreneurs, building a few companies a year, investing in over 100 companies a year is fascinating. And 
it is fulfilling because we're harnessing the deflationary power of technology, the better user experiences that we're creating to actually improve people's quality of life, to improve their, their purchasing power. And in and, and, and so doing, we address one of the two fundamental issues of our time, which is social inequality. And we're, we're creating more, more equality and more opportunities. Um, and I'd like to believe we can also use technology to address the other main issue of our time, which is climate change. And so I feel like I'm in a good position to address both and, and to play an important and meaningful part in both. Whether or not I could use my skills and leverage elsewhere in one specific uh, category or idea, uh, maybe. And if that comes to be the case, that's great. And I'm totally open to it. I, I, do, not, I do not close myself to it. In fact, if I look at the last eight years, I tried so many things. I tried, uh, I tried to buy Craigslist. Uh, they said no. I tried to run Craigslist for free just as a public service humanity. They also said no. I, I try to convince the Castros in Cuba to let me run a big free trade zone, actually a special economic zone in Cuba. Um, they also said no. You know, so it's not as though I like, didn't try. Um, I, even tr I had personal projects that I tried that also didn't, didn't work out. I tried to build this like Necker Island 2.0 in the Dominican Republic where I got 200 acres of land. I, I was trying to build a gathering of entrepreneurs, spiritual leaders, thought leaders, just to come in and hang out and, and, and build things and think through things. And, and because the corruption in the country it didn't happen either. But I guess the, the approach is I throw a lot of spaghetti into the wall. I see what sticks. And so far, building companies, investing companies through FJ Labs is what's sticking. But I'm open-minded.